Hello, it's Burgess Taylor, and today we're going to talk about Omni Journals. We're going to talk about next year's plans. I'm setting things up. We're going to talk about November and what I'm doing, and then we're going to show you the new Omni Journal. We're going to talk about what an Omni Journal is. So let's let's get started. year's Omni Journal. Today, this is November, and I, hello November and NaNoWriMo, and around this it says you should be writing. Well, I should be writing. I should definitely be writing. Uh, but I shouldn't be writing until at least midnight tonight, um, unless I'm a rebel for NaNoWriMo. I'm not rebelling this NaNoWriMo. I'm writing a new novel. I need to finish my witchy novel, but that's not, it's not on the table for right now. I've Got a new novel I'm going to work on. This is completely different. It's not going to be as long as the witchy novel. It's a single book, so it's not part of a series or anything. So this one will be a little bit easier. Let's get started with the Omni Journal. Now, what an Omni Journal is, is a everything journal. I put bullet journal stuff in here. I put scrapbook, smashbook style journaling. I watercolor. I do my planning. I do commonplace journaling, I do, as you can see, bullet journaling. Um, so I've been trying to figure out what is working and what isn't. And what I've done is right here. So my next Omni Journal, I was inspired by Scattered Fashionista. So some of the things I want to keep in my next Omni Journal are these things. Books to read, a monthly calendar, a weekly spread, a tracker. What I want to trash would be maybe the weekly review. I'm still thinking about that. Some things I want to add is maybe a monthly review instead of a weekly review. Blog post ideas, YouTube video ideas, project list, a doodle prompts page, income and expense affirmation page. Some ideas would be unique trackers, incorporate tarot and oracle daily pull into page or the weekly page. Some final thoughts on my Omni Journal are going to go right here. I've been trying to set up a daily routine. I've been thinking about making a back burner to-do list. One flip through I saw what she was showing, she had these. I thought about doing this with the stove and then drawing circles like the burners or an eye as we call it in the south. I'm making circles for my back burner to-do list. Saw this in somebody's major event. Thought about maybe doing this for 2017 where you list the events during the year for the major events. Movie night. This one would be popcorn and I'm thinking about doing this for Mr. Victor um, where we do Disney movies because I want to get him at least one night a month. So that would be a total of like maybe 12 Disney movies we'd watch. This would be for me and Mr. Rockstar and some of the movies that we haven't seen that we want to see. Some older, some newer. That's it for things I've been trying to like figure out. I've just been practicing back here. Let's go back to November and what I have set up for November. I set up November thinking, okay, I've got NaNoWriMo. I'm going to be very busy. So I did a November log where I'm going to be writing stuff down. This is my tasks and goals, different things I need to accomplish during the month or I want to do that are my goals during the month of November. This is my November calendar, which is pretty much color coded. I have different things like videos and blog posts that I definitely know I want to do. And then there are a few things like Thanksgiving logged and some other things I'm going to write in here. And this is a section for notes. So as you can see, it's kind of set up like a bullet journal to begin with. I have this week coming, which starts, this part starts tomorrow because that is the 1st of November. And this, I will put word count right here. These are some of the shows that I watch with Mr. Rockstar. It gives me a break and I journal usually when I watch those shows. He doesn't stay up for very long because he has to go to bed really early. So usually we only watch one or two and I journal I finish up my page in my Omni Journal usually while I'm watching television. I have one of those little lap desks. I'll put my notebook on there with a the little light on and I'll do that stuff while we're watching TV. So I listed some of the TV shows. I probably won't be able to watch all of them. This will be my word count or my word count will go right here. And the little laptop. I don't have a laptop on these two so I put just a block. So then I go from my monthly calendar and my monthly log to the weekly and then I have the days of the week. Now, I messed up. I wrote Monday, so I painted over it and then put wa the typewriter washi tape over. I set up ahead of time. 
I normally do a two page spread because I include a little thing for bullets for that to that day's stuff, other stuff than what is written on the weekly. I'll go through and write stuff down here that I know ahead of time I need to do. And then for the daily stuff, the stuff that is, you know, I'll write some things or I'll just journal. So I normally have a two page spread. I also take notes and do research and stuff like that. And if I find a quote or whatever, I will write it down, which is why I usually have two pages for the day, but November is going to be too busy. So right now I have the week one review. This is what I'm thinking of getting rid of after this year or after November anyway. I'm not quite sure, but definitely I don't think I'm going to do it come the new year. I think I'm just going to do a monthly overview. So this is my November tracker. I have things that are important like up by eight, bed by midnight, morning pages, YouTube, blog, Instagram, write 2,000 words, read one hour, walk one mile, stretches, and then art or sketch. And then I have stuff for my son right there. This is where we change it up. This is gratitude log and this says fuck this, fuck that. Somebody had this, I don't remember who, in a bullet journal flip through. And what this is the positive, okay? When you have those negative thoughts like say comparing yourself to others. I don't want to do that anymore. So that's on my fuck this fuck that list. Comparing myself to others. No more of that. Excuse my language for that but for you know if it bothers you, but that's that's my I'm doing away with that. No more of that. Being afraid to voice my opinion, self doubt, drama. I listed a few things. So this is the YouTube page, things that I know I want to do uh, videos about during the month of November, the blog. So they're going to match, but they will be different. I will have more information in the blog post. So this is the next week, and I'll have stuff down. Like, I need to write right here, uh, dentist appointment for Mr. Victor. So we'll do that here. And then later, I'll go through, and I may not do as much doodling as I did. I have doodling on these pages. I might draw a little tooth. I might draw a little notebook or a little laptop or a pen or something. Um, I'm not sure, but I didn't do any of that yet. Um, so we have Monday. We go through the week. Then we get to the week two review. Then we have the rest of the week. I usually only go about a week ahead. I don't normally go this far, but because I'm going to be so busy with NaNoWriMo, I went ahead and set it up. Because the great thing about having an Omni Journal or a Bullet Journal is I can go back here and write down research or facts or anything that, I, that would go like in a commonplace journal back here and just lift, put it in my index. The index I have in this one, I have the index in the back. Index is right here. But I can tab it or put washi tape or something so that I know what it is. I can always go back. It doesn't have to be in chronological order. I try to keep the, the date stuff in chronological order, but some of the other stuff I don't. This is a brain dump because this is going to be the end of NaNoWriMo and I'm going to do a brain dump about what's going on um, because what I want to do for December, what I think about the novel and my writing and my word count, whether I need to continue to write to finish the book, that kind of thing. This is it for November, the last two pages of November. And then we start with December. So I did my December calendar, kind of sort of a candy cane theme. Theme. I'm going to do a little Christmas tree right here and probably something right here. I haven't finished all of this because I'm going to do some washi tape. December, my goals and tasks, my brain dump. Like The brain dump in here is to finish up November. This is going to be the brain dump for what I'm going to do for December. A December tracker, which I haven't finished. And then that's what I have set up so far for the start of December. For all of November, I wanted to get things already on the ball so that I'm good to go. That's what I have here. To me, an Omni Journal is a catch-all journal. It's an everything, anything journal. So I was doing Fobonichi, which is sort of a chronicle of your day, whether you illustrate your day, sketch your day, use pictures, use stickers, use clip art, whatever. It's sort of a capture your day on a page or a two page spread, but it doesn't really include the bullet journal. I like to have everything in one place. And then what I do is I take the, this is the general, this is sort of central station for me. And then things that are more specific, like my writing or project, things like that, they go into a different place, the more specific detailed stuff. So like with the Dark Tower project, I have a traveler's notebook that's set up for projects. And one of the inserts in that traveler's notebook is the Dark Tower series insert. 
and I write down all the stuff for the dark tower. But if I get an idea, say I get an idea on this on this day, I'll write the idea and I'll put a little arrow to migrate it to the dark tower project insert. Later, when I'm looking through this stuff, I'll take my dark tower project insert, I'll get the traveler's notebook, I'll go into that insert, and I'll put down that, and then I'll go from there, and I'll get more detailed into that actual insert. I have inserts for different things. So I take, this is cent Grand Central Station though. The Omni Journal for me is Grand Central Station. So with that in mind, what I have done in the setup for my new Omni Journal, this is the, that is the, this is the Seven Seas Cross Field. Now this, he has the contact page, he has an index. The last two pages of this, I have set up, there's my pen test. I have the last two pages for my goals for 2017. I did some doodle sketch notes, that kind of thing, and then I have also a list for more things as I go through, like during the year, I want to take a vacation. I also want to paint our bedroom and bathroom. I want to clean the carpet. I want to get the window fixed in my car. We want to spend more time with Kayla because she's graduating in December, so she's going to be starting college. We want to have Victor sleep over at least one time a month. We want to have a romantic getaway. I want to cook more homemade foods, less processed, to the point where I get to no processed foods. I want to earn more money, save more, spend less, write 2000 per day, publish my book. Art to get better means practice. Look into a watercolor class and maybe find one and take it next year. Up by 8 a.m., bed by midnight, smile more, write more, less social media. And I put that in the very back because I, I don't want to have to go all the way to the book. This is going to get chunky. As you can see, this is my Omni Journal right now and this thing is chunky it's chunky so if I have the goals I'm gonna color the things in and make a little cross as I go through and actually fulfill those goals so I changed up the future log instead of the blocks I did this and I'll write and I'll put a dot wherever whatever month it is and then I'll write what it is over here and then as it gets accomplished or whatever I'll put a little I'll mark out mark out that it's done or if it needs like a certain date and I get a date later I'll do that and then I have my books to read for 2017 now most of these right here are Stephen King books I know that Jim Butcher's coming out with a new Dresden Files book Patrick Rothfuss is coming out with a new book there are quite a few other Patricia Briggs and Rice um, that I probably won't get to read until 2017 I will write them down and as I read them I will color them in. This is my Dark Tower project. As I go through, I have the months listed so I know what I'm going, what I'm doing, where I'm at, what's supposed to be happening. This is my January calendar and I have it for the most part set up week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. I know where I'm at. I know what I'm doing. These are the goals for each month. I have January log so that I can just keep a little log if something special happens that day or if there's a doctor's appointment or whatever because I don't really write that on this part. I do have like a little birthday listed but most of this is for stuff that has to do with the blog or YouTube or any of that kind of thing like if it's important and this is the more personal thing. I have goals and I will be writing some of those goals down for January. This is for my blog so this is like if I need certain picks for a blog post these are ideas, stats, followers, etc. These are the little blog posts I'm going to do. I tried something different. I don't know if I'll keep that set up, but I thought it was pretty and I liked it. This is my January tracker. This is YouTube. I'm going to be listing the videos, either YouTube ideas, YouTube stats, trying to keep a better idea because I want to do a giveaway. I was going to do it for 1,000 subscribers, but it just, I wasn't able to. I haven't been able to. It's just been a lot of crazy. So I'm going to pick something else. I'm just going to do, and I'm going to do a giveaway. These are for the videos, and then I'm going to write something. I'm going to do right here, which will have to do with the giveaway. So this is Brain Dump, and then that's all I have set up for January. Now, as I get closer and closer to January, I will be setting up the weekly and then the daily. But I won't have to do a lot of my actual personal planning in this Omni Journal too much. 
I will be doing my personal stuff and the Hobonichi. The way that the Hobonichi is set up is it has a monthly log. It has the monthly spread. Then you get to the weekly and then you have the daily. And I think it's how they've set it up. It's really great. This is remember this and it has lines. Um, it used to have blank so you could actually draw a picture. They have each month is set up in a different color so the grid is actually different. So because I show the Omni Journal on social media and because I have ADHD having two, this will the Hobonichi will be personal stuff, stuff I really don't show on social media. And the Omni Journal is going to be my I'm gonna show it on social media for like when I do the flip throughs and stuff. Um, some of this will be cross posted. So I'll have stuff in both. I will do a little bit of the planning in this, but it will be more for the blog and YouTube and stuff rather than my personal stuff like finance and, and bill doctor's appointments will mostly go in the Hobonichi. I'll just maybe have them listed so I can remind myself, but the more I write it down, the more likely I am not to forget. So that will help. But for collections and for goals and for all that kind of stuff that will be in the Omni Journal. The Hobonichi will house like I said my personal stuff but the reason I like having an Omni Journal is that say for example I'm back here and um, this is January I don't know the 5th and I happen to see a news article or something and it makes me think about something I want to research. So I'll write down the idea that I want to research and then I'll put a little mark. And then when I do research it, I can write down what I have somewhere. Maybe it's back here where I write it down, where I finally get to it. But I'll have this. I write facts, research, quotes, I doodle, I bullet journal, create art, I illustrate or sketch or visual journeying journaling or whatever you want to call it there's all people call it all different kinds of names so that's what an omni journal is to me it's sort of a catch-all everything journal that's what omni means is everything it can include anything you want it to include because i do scrapbook or smash book style journaling see this is the dark tower series i put stuff down and I had the idea and then this became more detailed and it went into the actual dark tower and this I never finished but as you can see I logged like books I'm reading dinner all different kinds of things so my pages sometimes include pictures sometimes include tip-ins we had a coffee date I found us matching mugs, but they're not matching, but they are matching, if that makes sense. It's our anniversary, so I put pictures from our wedding and stuff in here. And I drew my goofy mug. This is a tip-in. Different things. This was a quote. I just felt like being different. So as you can see, I do all different kinds of things. Picture, sketch, a quote watercolor a picture I did some doodling this is a card I got this had to do this came with the happy mail thing that I got I thought it was really cool a leave I mean I have different things I do all different kinds of journaling and you never know what kind of day it's gonna be this was the outline for the novel this is an outline for the blank page video that I did as you can see it just really depends and that this doing this this way means that I'm not having an insert for every single thing. I don't have a book for bullet journaling. I don't have a book for, I don't have a Fobonichi and a bullet journal and a research fact commonplace journal. It's all combined into one journal. I can put it all in there. I do Fobonichi style journaling. I also do bullet journaling and everything else. It goes all in this one notebook as it gets closer to 2017 I will show you more of that and that's it y'all if you have any questions about the Omni Journal please let me know I will be more than happy to answer them I'm going to talk about the Omni Journal in a blog post and explain some more of it I am going to um, insert the video in that have a good one thanks y'all bye